So Dr. Oaklander, as the pioneer in this field, published two papers in 2012 and uh, one in 2013 and reported abnormal uh, findings in the small nerve fiber of these patients, up to half of these patients uh, with fibromyalgia. So this shifted our understanding and now we know that it's not all in the brain, so there is some peripheral component to fibromyalgia, at least in some groups of uh, patients. Uh, it drew a lot of um, media attention, as you can see here. The first paper uh, was a study on patients under age 21. There were 41 patients with chronic widespread pain, and uh, they were predominantly female, and uh, a lot of them were disabled. These patients underwent testing for a small fiber polyneuropathy. These testing, which I'm going to explain in future slides, includes skin biopsy and autonomic function testing. And in this group of patients, 59% had abnormal findings that fulfilled the criteria for the diagnosis of definite small fiber polyneuropathy. It means that there was the objective findings that they had problem with their small nerve fibers. The next paper that she published was in adult patients, and it showed 41% of the skin biopsies of uh, 27 fibromyalgia patients and uh, showed evidence of a small fiber polyneuropathy, while only 3% of the skin biopsy of 30 healthy control subjects had abnormal findings in their small nerve fibers. Uh, so similar uh, reports uh, have been published by different groups from different parts of the world. So it means that this concept is a valid concept and it's reproducible in different patient population. This is a German uh, paper uh, that they did a skin biopsies in patients with uh, fibromyalgia and they reported that the average of their number of the small nerve fibers in the skin were lower than control subjects. This is another paper from Dr. Caro in California. He does a lot of work on fibromyalgia. He reported uh, 41 patients of, uh, with fibromyalgia and 47 control subjects uh, underwent skin biopsy. And uh, the number of the small nerve fibers were overall lower in fibromyalgia group patients. The next uh, report is from Greece. So they had a large patient population, 46, uh, that fulfilled the uh, diagnostic criteria for fibromyalgia. 15 out of 46 had abnormal findings in their small nerve fibers, which is 32%. Another paper from Italy, uh, so they did similar testing on 20 fibromyalgia patients, and six of them had evidence of uh, small fiber polyneuropathy.